Hi guys. My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the second half of March reading for you all. March 16th through the 31st reading for Leo. I hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and well. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. And it's not going to resonate with everybody. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. My heart and my thoughts my prayers go out to everybody that's going through any and all kinds of nonsense right now yes I probably watch too much news it's just uh, seems to be continuous you know just stay safe Pentacles, death card right below the devil. That's nice. Eight of Cups and the Lovers. You're clarifying. Four of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles and Two of Swords. Action. Magician in the Mirror. Helpful people and abundance. That's nice, isn't that pretty? Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you all, I have several scenarios going on in my mind. I'm feeling like on one hand, you know, when you get the devil card, it's basically, it can go in two different directions, but a lot of times when you see it, it's something that's holding you down, holding you back, um, something that might have uh, control over you to a certain extent. Something that is, it's, it, it thrives on your weaknesses. And I do think that that's coming to an end, especially with the death card right below it. I do think that there is something that's coming to an end that you guys have um, been torn about. Maybe even felt like you've been um, mistreated in a certain way. So I find that that is coming to an end. But now on the other side of this, this could be a Capricorn as well. And you might be that 
a relationship or a situation may be coming to an end. But now when I get this Eight of Cups and then the Lover's card, I'm kind of torn here. I'm kind of feeling on one hand some of you guys are walking away from a relationship. And then on the other hand, I feel like some of you may be walking away from a relationship and getting into another relationship. So now whether this is walking away from this lover's card or whether you're walking away from this situation, I feel like it's something that has been nagging at you all for a while, something that's been aggravating and, and just stressful and um, something that needs to end basically. Sometimes when I get the death, not sometimes, usually when I get the death card, I'm excited about it, you all, because it puts an end to something that's been um, tormenting you a little bit. So when that comes to an end, then something else can come in. And especially when I get this magician in the mirror, almost like you guys are manifesting what you're wanting now. You're hoping, you're praying, you're looking into something completely different. So some of you all are walking away from this bad situation and some of you all may be walking away from a relationship. And if you are, you may be walking into another relationship. So I'm a little bit, I've got, I'm a little bit scattered because I have all of these uh, images going through my head. But you know, I usually, not only read all the cards, but I also go like this. And of course, the death and the devil, the queen of cups, and you guys walking away, possibly from a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and maybe getting into a relationship with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So that's similar to how I'm feeling today. Now, it may not be you walking away from any kind of relationship. It may just be you walking away from this nonsense that's been going on, that's been holding you down, or that's you've had an obsession, or they've had something, or someone has had a grip on you somehow. So I'm looking at it like whatever it is that you're walking away from, you've already been thinking about for a while, and it's probably for the best, okay? But I do feel like that with this lover's card, you're getting into another relationship or a relationship. Because not, you know, not everybody's going through the same exact things at once, but some of you all are. So I just want to throw everything out there. And then I have this action card, like it's time to take action. It's time for you guys to take over something that's important in your life. And especially you all, when I get this Ace of Pentacles, I feel like, you know, this is an absolutely beautiful Ace. Every one of them are, honestly. But this particular Ace can mean your happiness, your happiness with your um, romantic partner, your happiness with your friends, with your family, with your um, situation, and you're feeling safe. You're feeling secure. So, and then on top of that, it can also be financial gain. Now, when I come up here and I get this Four of Pentacles, I get this Two of Swords and this Ace of Pentacles, I almost feel like that there may be something coming in for some of you all. So, on one hand, I feel like that you might be hanging on tightly to something um, that may not be good for you, okay? Which could be what you're walking away from or who you're walking away from or a situation that you're walking away from. Sometimes it's a job and sometimes it's just you've had enough and then all of a sudden in your mind you're, something snaps and you're like, I'm done. Do you know what I mean? That's similar to how I'm feeling here. So there may be something that you're hanging on to too tightly and it could be this situation it could be a relationship. It could be possibly money that you're hanging on to, but you're torn. You're torn into which way you should go, and it could possibly go with this uh, walking away situation. You're, you're kind of weighing the pros and the cons. Well, if I do this, this can happen, and if I do this, this can happen, and 
you know, if I get out of this relationship, where am I supposed to go? Or, or how am I going to pay rent? Or, and you start throwing all this stuff in your mind. But then when I get this Ace of Pentacles, it's like your decision, whatever you decide to do, is really going to put you in a much better place. Let's say, okay, let me give you an example. If you're in a relationship and um, you guys are not getting along, for instance, and every time you talk to each other, you're fighting, you're arguing, you're bickering, you're not doing yourself a favor by staying in that relationship. If there's no hope for it, you may need to move forward. So that's how I'm feeling and that's what I'm seeing in my mind. Now, if it's something completely different, and it could be, it could be your landlord, for instance, giving you a hard time. Maybe that's who this is. It could be your boss. It could be your job or a totally different situation. Whatever it is that's holding you back or holding you down or not making you happy, um, you might, you have already been considering it, I think, to move away from it because you know it's not good for you. So it may not be a relationship at all, but that's just an example that I have to give you or that I felt like I should give you anyway. But there's something going on here that you're torn about and you're hanging on to something. And once I believe you let go of it and then it's the death of that situation, you're, things are going to open up for you and you're going to be in a much better place for you, your family, your relationship, um, your own well-being, your mind, your and financially it could come out financially as well because I do have abundance over here and this abundance um, can be financial but it's also just feeling happy about your choices or about your new relationship or about your new situation that may be coming up so I feel like that here in a minute you guys have already been throwing something around in your mind. Should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, like this Two of Swords. And you're hanging on to something that may not be good for you. Um, but then I feel like that once you release that, and once it's the death of that situation, you're going to see, um, you're going to feel a lot better about a certain situation. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I have this helpful people down here, you all. So it almost makes me feel like you're going to have people um, helping you in one way or another. So let's say if you need to move somewhere, you're going to have people, um, your family, your friends, maybe even your neighbors that lends a helping hand. Maybe you want to open a business or something to that extent. You're going to have people that, that are willing to help you. Maybe you're wanting to help other people. It, it's almost like maybe groups of people, church people or people in your community, people might come together and everybody, you know, helps each other. So whatever it is that you're going through, I feel like it may be about time um, that you consider. Because I feel like when something specific happens is really when you're going to have the death of a situation the way that you know it. And it could possibly be an argument, a disagreement. Maybe you've just had enough over something. Maybe it's your landlord that's um, nagging at you for one reason or another, and you're like, I've had it. I'm just going to go move somewhere else. So, but I do feel like that there is possibly a new person that's coming into your life. It could be one of these signs. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female, or a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Give me just a minute, okay? I'm going to rearrange. Let me show you how I feel about it. You know, the Devil card is not always a bad card, but I almost feel like you guys are going through something right now. And I almost feel like that it's uh, starting to get under your skin. Alright, I think it's... <coughs> Sorry, you all. Excuse me. 
So with the Devil card here, it's almost like that maybe you guys have been going through something for a while. And with that being said, you can only take so much. You know, anybody and everybody can only take so much. So I almost feel like that there's going to be a, a moment or an instance or a situation almost in a, in a snap of a finger that you're going to say, enough, that's it, I, I, I can't take it anymore. Now, whether it's with a relationship, um, I can't be for sure, may, it may be for a few of you all, but it may just be a totally different situation that somebody has um, some kind of control over you in one way or another landlord or a, a, a boss or something to that extent and then all of a sudden you're like this isn't good for me anymore I'm just gonna have to walk away from it enough is enough and it's gonna be the death of that situation the way that you know it you may have been hanging on to something too tightly okay but I feel like that with that you're kind of torn and you have been for a while and that's the reason why you've been hanging on to this um, problem I'm, I may as well say it it's kind of like a problem that you've had but here in a minute I just feel like everything's going to open up for you and it's going to be a huge weight taken off of your shoulders I feel like you're about to take action and you're going to start manifesting what's important to you and what's important in your life you may be dealing with an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn male or female or a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I almost feel like one of these people, male or female, may be uh, the person that you're moving towards and the other might be the person you're moving from. Um, it could go either way there. But I also feel like that if you do need any kind of help in any way, you may start realizing that you have more friends or more family or more neighbors or even people in your community that are willing to help you in different ways. So that gives you a good sense of relief to a certain extent. And you are manifesting a better life for yourself. You're trying to get out of this situation or this hold that somebody or something has on you. And then all of a sudden I get the Ace of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Abundance card. It makes me feel like that things are about to work out in your favor. So especially if you guys are going through a little bit of an issue at this moment or some kind of nonsense at this time, things are about to change for you, okay? So I just suggest to hang in there for a minute and it might take a week or two, um, just depending on your circumstance, but it's going to be uh, a huge relief in a lot of different ways for most of you guys. And you're going to see something great come out of it. Happiness, possibly financial gain, security, um, just a good feeling of well-being. And I believe it's with a new in a new relationship or getting stronger in it in an old relationship and then abundance on top of that you just feel like um, you're blessed so hang in there for a minute I feel like things are changing for you and you're about to see something or feel something really good in the very near future all right, Leo, this is your second half of March reading, March 16th through the 31st reading for Leo. I hope you guys have enjoyed this today, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.